Welcome to Back to Basics. In this episode, we will discuss infrastructure as a code for generative AI models. Generative AI, also known as Gen AI or GAI, is artificial intelligence capable of generating text, images, or other data using generative AI model, often in response to prompts. While generative AI has captured everyone's attention and customers are looking at using generative AI to drive business outcomes like improving customer experience, automation, etc., when ideating on potential generative AI application, one of the most important thing that you may be missing is the DevOps component, the infrastructure as a code for generative AI application. Developing a generative AI application is particularly challenging due to the rapidly evolving nature of the underlying technologies. As a result, developers face challenges of keeping up with the changing paradigm and best practices. This often leads to varied and disjoint patterns as developers craft their own solutions from scratch, such as retrieval augmented generation, also known as RAG, summarization, or chatbot. Infrastructure as code is vital for Gen AI application, automating infrastructure, deployment, and ensuring consistency across environments. It enables scalable, version control, and well-documented infrastructure, crucial for the iterative nature of AI development. Its agnostic nature supports deployment on various platforms while security and compliance are strengthened through codified policies. Overall, infrastructure as a code is an essential foundation for supporting the dynamic requirement of Gen AI. So now let's dive right in. The AWS Cloud Development Kit, also known as AWS CDK, is an open source software development framework to model and provision your cloud application resources using familiar programming languages such as Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, Java, or Shisha. The CDK empowers you to use high-level construct libraries that encapsulate AWS best practices, allowing you the creation of cloud application without needing to know the details of the AWS services involved. By using CDK, you have a shift where multiple templates are generated for each environment, which ends up in different stacks. This decoupling helps you to contain and maintain differences between environments. Now let's take a look at the architecture pattern leveraging the CDK. There are two main components, the web app frontend and the backend. Now within the CDK, you define three stacks to build this and include a foundational VPC stack, which helps build the foundational elements like your VPCs, your subnets, your security group, etc. The web app stack includes all the services required to build your web application, while the generative AI backend stack includes the API for orchestrating and inferencing your Gen AI LLM. You define all three stacks in your favorite programming language using CDK. You can have this code on your local machine and push it into AWS Cloud in its respective environment using the CDK. Now, this generates an AWS CloudFormation stack, which helps create the respective resources in the cloud. You can leverage the parameter store to securely provide access and house Gen AI API endpoint details and Amazon Machine Image or AMI IDs. Your web app is built using your front end language of choice. You host the web app using Amazon Elastic Container Service, also known as ECS, and it is accessed via an application load balancer. The containerization of the web app helps to ensure scalability, decoupling, and portability. Now let's discuss the backend and the various ways to orchestrate the Gen AI LLM inference endpoint API. This can be hosted in the fully managed service like Amazon SageMaker and Amazon Bedrock. You can also optionally host these endpoints in Amazon EKS using open source distributed computing framework like Ray. The inference is exposed as an API leveraging a serverless combination of API hosting using Amazon API Gateway and AWS Lambda functions. So for each use case, you can have an API serving it. 
You will have one API for a natural language processing and text generation, and another one for image generation. You can orchestrate these API inferences using SageMaker or Bedrock in a decoupled manner. These API can be leveraged by different business applications within organization or even external systems. Genea applications can fail without AWS CDK for several reasons, including infrastructure and deployment complexity, dependency and change management, scalability and resource optimization challenges, monitoring and management. Now, all of which are required for these applications to function properly. It is important to note that when using the AWS CDK for generative AI application, its use can lead to over abstraction, manual resource management, hard-coded configuration, ignoring best practices, or bypassing AWS managed services. To avoid this, be sure to follow CDK best practices, use higher level constructs, and leverage AWS managed services for scalability and efficiency. It's essential to take the time to decide how to implement infrastructure as a code for Gen AI models. In this way, you can decouple your services, avoiding propagating errors, and simplifying the deployment process. Infrastructure as a code enhances collaboration, knowledge sharing, and efficient resource management, adapting to fluctuating workloads. It can lay the foundation for reliable, reproducible, and secure infrastructure supporting the dynamic development of generative AI applications. Check out the links in the description below for more details. Thank you for watching Back to Basics. See you next time.